Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. Today we are going to paint transparent pini with granulated colors. For painting pini I choose Schminke uh, super granulated colors in dusty pink and green shades and let's see what we can achieve. When we paint in transparent technique, we organize our layers in a way uh, they are coming from background to the top. So uh, for the very background petals, I will use pretty diluted mix and I will shape first petals. I wash my brush, I remove excess water with paper towel and trying to achieve nice transparency. Granulated paints work better on a textured watercolor paper, that's why today I use rough grain paper. I try to organize my initial first petals, the background petals, in a way that they are not overlapping with each other yet but I try to bring them all to the center, to the center of the flower. I dry my brush with a paper towel, grab a little bit of bold paints, which I squeezed on my plate, and with the tip of the brush, I go along the watery area and add some nice crispy edge. This is background petals, so no need to put much details into them. All details are coming a little bit later. We just, so to say, preparing our future peony bud. Now, before we apply next layers, let's try this one. These two petals are dry. Uh, I'm going to paint another petal on the top of the previous layers. I diluted a little bit my paint. Vulcan Violet. Sounds, sounds pretty cool. And with the tip of the brush I first shape the top of the petal and then I dilute a little bit. my. I dilute the mix and bring it down. It's important that you bring all the petals to the flower center. The flower center is the point where all petals connect to the stem. So this is very, very important that everything goes in the right direction. At that moment, you can add a little bit more of crispiness into the paint. I use both of pink colors for the variety because I think that they create really nice graded wash all together and a nice interesting shades. Now you can see how these granulated colors are walking, particles push each other in different directions and that creates nice nice texture. At the same moment we can add one more petal, one more petal which would not overlap with this one and would not damage our Mm, our structure of petals. I uh, try to paint in the middle, I try to paint pretty soft and diluted and add more crispiness on the edges. I will take a smaller brush for the edges because it's just a little bit more convenient when you have one brush for bold colors and one for soft or for diluted that a little bit more effective so to say 
um, with dry brush I can add a few details, map out some veins. like this. This is nice. Now let's dry these two petals again. Now we are going to paint two front petals and at that stage we will add details. But firstly let's prepare the surface of the next petal. So firstly we just glaze, we create the petal with our diluted mix, bringing the petal again to the flower center. The mix should be very diluted so the previous layers can be nicely seen through. Now I change my brush. I grab a more darker color, um, just bolder mix of the same color. And with the tip of the brush, I go around the edges and add nice crispy outline. To make it more interesting, you can apply a little bit more pressure on your brush or a little bit less pressure so the edge would not be um, no, it would not look outlined too much, it will look more organic. The more we move towards the flower center, to the bottom of the petals, the thicker they are getting. So you can grab a little bit more of the paints and apply pressure onto your brush. That will create this nice weight in the bud. Now, at this same moment, I would like to add green color into the very, very, into the middle, just at uh, the moment where our bud will connect to a stem, soon, that coming soon. And I can actually drag out a few green wings just like this now let's try this again now with the bold mix let's add few strokes imitating the veins in the petal no need to paint them all just the idea just the idea Try to use the tip of the brush. The paper is still wet, that's why it all dissolves. Uh, paints are still working, still, still mixing with each other, still distributing. So um, give it a little bit, give it a moment, and then we can try this out. Once my petal is finished, is dry, I will set up another petal on the top. About this. I always try to make the shape, the tip of the petal a little bit wavy, a little bit more organic. And now I bring all these colors down with clean and damp brush and I switch my brush to a smaller one and with the tip of the brush and very bold mix I will again go around the tip of the petal and add nice crispy edge the more contrast you will be able to achieve, achieve between middle part of the petal and the crispy edges, the more mm, intrigue, the more interesting uh, your painting will look. 
And again, remember that petals, they are heavier at the bottom. That's why you can apply a little bit more pressure onto your brush to create a slightly thicker line about this. That was too much. Now let's do that. And some veins. Uh, remember to apply veins in the C shapes, not straight. Always according to the shape of the petal. Like this. And a small drop of green color. So our connection, the connection of the bud with the stem, will be pretty smooth and organic. Now actually we can do that. I will change my brush and I will dilute my green mix, my green color. And I will paint a stem. If it is easier for you, you can draw it in advance. And now let's first make it light and then with another brush, with the tip of the brush, let's add more darker tone in the very uh, it uh, in the very spot where stem connects to the bud and give it a little bit of contrast around like this now while our petals are dry let's add more greenery Let's check this. This actually is dry. So let's paint a leaf. It will go in this direction. I start with the tip of the brush. Starting with the tip of the brush, apply pressure on my brush and then I move my brush a little bit and bring it to the, um, to the stem. The granulated colors, they are beautiful by the, uh, themselves, so don't overthink it. The shape you got, they'll be uh, pretty lovely, pretty nice. Now let's uh, make, let's dry this one and paint another, paint another leaf like this. I think I will start now to paint from uh, the stem up to the top, but principle will remain the same. I start with the tip of my brush, then I apply a lot of pressure on my brush. It was not good. Um, was not enough water in my brush, so I will start again from the same point. No pressure, more pressure. And then I do some moves and release the pressure. Now the edge is a little bit dry, so I just go around and soften, soften the edges. I would like to make the middle part a little bit clean, so I washed my brush, I dry it with a paper towel and just lift the middle part. Now Let's have a look. I think we can easily add one more, one more green leaf around. Let's first, uh, before you paint, you can um, make some moves with your brush and see what can be better. Something like this. And then you can, while your paper um, is still wet, your wash is still wet, you can add pink outlines. Usually pinnies, all pinnies greenery has these pink outlines, which 
which is very very typical and you can do the same just go with pretty bold mix around some edges don't do um outlines for the whole for the whole wash just a little bit just a touch like this let's add one more green leaf around around this area because this looks a little bit empty to me so just very simple shape everything should be connected to a stem nothing should uh, just flying around that's not how it happens in the real flower world so do some outlines always nice to add touch of pink and a little bit of thickness into the into the part where a leaf connects to a stem just play, play around with your brush um, check out which brush strokes works better for in your paper with your paints maybe it will be different from mine like this and more pressure um it's very difficult to stop as always but i think we are getting to our to our logic i just would like to add a few little veins in this big in this big leaf and one middle vein into this part so this is our peony and i hope you enjoy the process thank you so much for painting with me i hope you enjoy the process i'm looking forward for your feedback and comments which questions you have about painting watercolor what flower you would like to paint next see you next time bye bye